So Monster Energy has been in the news lately and we all know Monster Energy from mass sponsoring sporting events, specific cars, teams or drivers. We also know them from video games of the radical variety like the Dirt series. And some of you may know it from actually drinking it. Ew. But it's a brand that tries to market themselves towards different sports as well as gaming, both of which I am interested in. But Monster Energy has been talked about in a very negative manner as they took legal action against an indie developer called Glowstick Entertainment due to their game called Dark Deception Monster and Mortals has the word monster in it. Yes, it's stupid. According to the founder of Glowstick Entertainment, Monster Energy claims that the game is confusingly similar to their energy drink, which again is really, really stupid. Because how can you confuse an energy drink with the video game? You cannot drink the video game and you cannot play an energy drink. I mean, you could try to pour the energy drink into your computer, which is something I would really recommend Monster Energy try out. But this claim is absolutely idiotic in my opinion and makes no sense to me whatsoever. Now, Vincent Livings, the founder and CEO of Glowstick Entertainment, made the entire thing public in a Twitter thread, which I will link down below, and he shared the settlement terms that Monster Energy sent, and I'm not going to go through it, but I will link that below as well, and surprise surprise, the settlement is pretty dumb too, and refuses Glowstick Entertainment of using words like monster, monstrous, monstrosity, beast, or unleashed, so I guess that's the words they want to monopolize. And it's very clear that the claims Monster Energy is making is simply a tactic to bully a smaller developer to change the name of their game in an attempt to monopolize the word monster. Which is so stupid I cannot even fathom it, but Monster Energy is a massive company with massive amounts of money to burn on being a menace to potentially anyone wanting to use the word monster in their title and also to the court system that would have to take on these cases if anyone were brave enough to take that fight. Which I am very happy to say that Glowstick Entertainment has intentions of doing, and there is a GoFundMe to support in their fight, which I think is an important case, and if you think so too, I would ask that you consider donating if you have the means, or share these news and the GoFundMe on social media, etc. Because this is not the first time Monster Energy has threatened companies in this manner. For instance, Ubisoft was threatened with legal action for their game Immortals Phoenix Rising, which was supposed to be called Gods and Monsters. And I firmly believe that Ubisoft should have challenged these threats, but instead they decided to change the name of their title. And I'm quite mad about this because Ubisoft is a massive company that could easily have challenged the legal threats. But instead they cowered and left the entire industry hanging and leaving a small indie company to fight the same battle. I understand that no one wants to go to court but come on Ubisoft don't be bullied by obvious bullshit. But as I looked into this more articles popped up and Monster Energy has in the past also filed trademark complaints against the Pokemon and Monster Hunter franchises in Japan and also over 100 other trademark complaints in Japan over the years. Luckily, the JPO, which handles these complaints, are very sensible and have routinely denied Monster Energy's complaints. Which is good, of course, but all of this just shows that Monster Energy is a trademark troll and keeps bullying any and everyone that tries to use or trademark anything related to the word monster. And the reasons seem to always be product confusion, as if consumers can't tell the difference between an energy drink and a completely different product. But let's get back to the indie developer now in Monster Energy's crosshair. I've never heard of the game and checking the Steam DB, it's a rather small game, averaging 30-ish players a day. And their absolute peak was at 254 concurrent players, so I don't understand why these guys are being targeted. It's like someone at Monster Energy has sat down and actively looked for a target. I don't get it. And although this game isn't my cup of tea, I really do hope that the game blows up in light of this situation. That would be great. Either way, you gotta respect Glowstick Entertainment for having more backbone than Ubisoft.
Now I'm not a lawyer and I'm not very familiar with the American legal system, so I would be very curious to, as to how this case would proceed, but surely they cannot claim ownership of the word monster, nor that this game is confusing consumers. Am I wrong or what? Let me know in the comments. Just as an interesting tidbit at the end, in Norway there were strict regulations on energy drinks and until 2009 the likes of Red Bull and Monster were actually illegal because of their high levels of caffeine. Another interesting thing is that the way Monster Energy writes Monster on their drinks, it looks very much like the letter Ö that we use here in Norway. And when pronounced with this strange letter, it makes out the word Mönster, which translates to pattern. So yeah, fuck pattern energy drinks, I'd recommend drinking anything else really, preferably water of course, because shockingly these energy drinks aren't really good for you. But that's about it, if you liked this video please click the like button, if you didn't then feel free to dislike it, and if you want to see more of my content then please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for watching, and goodbye.